Good morning, church. We're so glad you've joined us on this global day of prayer. We're going to sing Days of Elijah together. Here we go, everybody. These are the days of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant, Moses, righteousness being restored. And though these are days of great trials, desert crying prepare ye the way of the Lord behold he comes riding on the clouds shining like the sun at the trumpet call so lift your voice it's the year of jubilee and out of Zion's hill salvation Ezekiel, the dry bones becoming his flesh. And these are the days of your servant David rebuilding a temple of praise. And these are the days of the harvest. The fields are white in the world. And we are your labor, who's in your vineyard. like Jehovah, but there is no God like Jehovah. 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 trumpet call so lift your voice it's the year of jubilee and out of zion's hill salvation comes behold he comes riding on the clouds shining like the sun at the trumpet call so lift your voice it's a year of jubilee For 10 years, the Global Day of Prayer invited the world to prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. And they gladly accepted the invitation. We've prayed in open-air stadiums, auditoriums, city halls, and cathedrals. We've worshipped in the streets, public parks, and in homes. From high places to significant places, we've cried out to the Lord. Now a trumpet call is ringing out from the horizons of every continent. An increased cry of repentance. A growing desire for holiness. As the waters cover the earth, so this movement is beginning to grow from north to south, from coast to coast, from cities to villages, and right into the heart of communities and homes. This is a movement of repentance, reconciliation, and prayer. 
It is movement that knows no borders and can no longer be contained in stadiums, buildings and churches. It reaches out to the rich and poor, the young and the old. He will heal our broken hearts. He will restore our brokenness. He will transform our communities. And the world will soon begin to see and know that God is truly the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. More people, more places, more prayer. Look, the new season has already begun. Good morning, Southeast Christian Church. I am so grateful for you. Uh, tuning in and watching this. This is a special Sunday. Today is the international, the global day of prayer. And one of the things about Southeast Christian Church, one of the things that we believe at heart is that we are Christians, but we are not the only Christians. And so today uh, we're going to have different people chiming in and praying with us and for us, but we're also going to be praying with them. And so today I'm actually at the uh, International Peace Gardens in Salt Lake City and if you've never been here I want to encourage you this is a great place to come and just pray and meditate and, and walk and see uh, God's beauty and see the different representations that they have across the world but as we gather today to worship um, I'm just reminded of a couple of verses and, and this passage is found in 1st Corinthians chapter 12 and it says for just as the body is one and has many members just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ, for in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. If you go down a little bit further, it says this, if one member suffers, all suffer together, if one member is honored, all rejoice together. And so I think that over the last couple of months with the coronavirus and everything that's happening, not just in Utah and not just the United States, but worldwide, this is a great opportunity for us to come together and to plead with God, to humble ourselves before him and just pray for each other and pray that God's hand would move. Hey, I know you're going to be blessed with this worship service. And so uh, I just want to encourage you that when we're praying, you're praying. When we're singing, you're singing. Please read and pray this prayer along with me. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we gather with believers all over the world to glorify you as creator of heaven and earth. You alone are holy and righteous. We submit to your authority. We praise and adore you alone. Father, we honor you. Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you. Holy Spirit, we honor you. Now, please read and pray this prayer along with me. Our Father in heaven, Thank you for loving the world so much that you gave your only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins so that we could be reconciled to you. Fill us with your love as we faithfully intercede for the lost, the hopeless, the helpless, and the world. Thank you, Father for adopting us into your family. Amen. There are nearly 200 countries across the earth today. 200 nations. And Psalm 49, 1 through 3 says, Listen to this, all you people. Pay attention, everyone in the world, all nations. High and low, rich and poor. Listen, for my words are wise and my thoughts are filled with insight. For my words are wise and my thoughts are filled with insight. 
On this global day of prayer, we want to recognize God's word as holy and wise. And it's for all nations to hear. You're going to listen now to John 3, 16 and 17 in 12 languages, proclaiming God's universal language, love. Good morning. I'm reading from John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Yohani asempa eti miensa ni chemu dun sinya eno dun son. Nyako pa asemse, na sedye o nyako pondo uya sinye, se ode ne ba a wa wono korono mai, na ubiara o jinu dieno, anyera, na wanyada nkwa. Na nyako pa ansuma obanu uya se se omebu uya se aten, ne mom. Someone Three is for a scaredy group, Haman, at Hangat in Kassin, Sinterfes. At Versem, a hundred gladest ekke held a happy elephant leaf. To send the ekke sonin, a hemen tell a time a hemen, held the tear thes, a frost a hand. Tavala is in a tree, and hi, and namaste from us to you. Kina, when a common citizen can like it to bring the door to Boyo, Taki, Wale Afna, Ekmatu, Susma, Dimu Boyo, Wama to this us, Dorne Kuipuni Nasna host, that are Ananta Jiman Powers. Kinaki, Pomisuli, Sansarlai, Dosi Chalona, when you put Rale Sansar Mapatonu Baina, Taram, Wadwara, Sansar Bansus, Manera Patonu Bayo, Zemasi and Ame. In way, Sandi I Siren, Sensi Janta, do ye the earth, Sigatan, Shall ye chase Sing Tadden, Putsi, Mewa, Fanda Yung Sen, Sandi, Chai Tadden, Earth, Dal Sisan, I, Bussi, I'll ding Si and the Jay. 而是要记得他的儿子拯救世人。我第一个。Love 3。Ибо не послал Бог Сына Своего в мир, чтобы судить мир, но чтобы мир спасен был через Него. Нисори Олорун Фе Арайе Тобе Ге, Сиофи Омо Биби Ре Кон Шо Шо Фуни, Ки Ени Кени Ти Оба Гба Агбо, Ma ba she be. Shungon, ki o le ni iye, a e ni kwe kon. Ni tori o lor un kon ron o mo re, si a ye, la ti da a ra ye le bi. Shungon, ki a le ti i kwa se re, ba a ra ye la. Thank you. Den so zir hat got di welt gelebt, da sir seinen enge woren son gab, damit ye der, der an in glaubt. Nicht verloren geht, sondern ein wieges Leben hat. Denn Gott hat seinen Sohn nicht in die Welt gesandt, damit er die Welt richte, sondern damit die Welt durch ihn gerettet wird. So er schade gut werden, du kannst öfter sein Endperson. So es war auch in so einem Klopfer und in das Jahr, das verloren, du kannst mal ewig leben. Du hast ein Interesse, um zu werden oder dümmer werden, 
utan för att världen ska bli svärt genom honom. Juan Capítulo 3 Talatang 16 Sapagkat gayo na lamang ang pagsinta ng Diyos sa sanlibutan na ibinigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak upang sino mang sa kanya'y sumampalataya ay huwag mapahamak kundi magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Would you please read and pray this prayer along with me? Father of mercy and grace, we have sinned. Our world is gripped by the power of sin. Our hearts are grieved by injustice, hatred, and violence. We are shamed by oppression, racism, and bloodshed in our land. We mourn all loss of life and murder, war, and terrorism. Our homes are broken and our churches are divided by rebellion and pride. Our lives are polluted by selfishness, greed, idolatry, and sexual sin. God of mercy, forgive our sins. Pour out your grace and heal our land. Amen. Um, I have a degree in ballet from the University of Utah. Dancing is just a large part of who I am and I want to give everything that I am to the Lord. So using dance to praise the Lord and to show gratitude for like the body he has given me and the mind and the energy that he's given me is why I really value being able to do this. To use dance as praise. My name is Amelie. I also just finished a BFA in ballet at the U. Um, for me dancing has always just been about the joy that's in movement and the joy that it can bring to both me and to other people. Um, and that's one of the things that God's heart to me too, is just the feeling of all the joy and creation. And this is just one of the many, many things that I've experienced. 
please read and pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, you died on the cross and redeemed us to the Father by your blood. You are head of the church and Lord of all heaven and earth. Let your kingdom be established in every nation of the world. Bring transformation among peoples of all tribes and languages, so righteousness and justice will prevail. May your name be great from the rising of the sun to its setting. Amen. One of the verses that I'm into lately is, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. And I think the posture of ourselves before God of humility and brokenness and, and knowing our place in the universe, I think that shows God that we're serious about coming to him. Thankful, with thankful hearts, with grateful hearts, uh, with full dependence, upon, full dependence upon him. And uh, I just think it's the, the sky's the limit to come to God with a humble posture as individuals, as families, and as a church congregation. And if we come to God with that tone, then he will forgive us and he will do his work amongst the nations. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Und mein Wort über den mein Name ausgerufen worden ist die Mutis, siehst und sie beten und suchen mein Angesicht und kehren um von ihren bösen Wegen. So will ich es vom Himmel erholen und ihre Sünden vergeben und ihr Land heilen. Vaikanu ami asher nikra, shemi alehem vit palu ve fashu fana ve yashuvo medarchechem haraim ve ani ishma hashemaim ve ishlak lik hatatam ve epa et artsam. Er ze she be chung wei wo ming sha de zi ming, lo chen be sha lai. Si dao, shin cho wo de mian, li kai e dao, wo bi chong tian shang chui ting, se mian tam de zui. Kuro ni ono buburu mwa. Ni ba no, ni emi o gbo la ti onu. Emi o dari e she mwoji. Emi o si wo i le mwosan. Thank you. Pura agar mere naam se, pukare jane wale lo, haak saar hoti, or dua karte, or mujhe dhunte hain, or bure raftun se dur hat jate hain, to me jannat se unki sunu ga. और मैं उनके गुनाह को माफ करूंगा और उनके मुल्क में खुशहाली लाऊंगा दजिम खनिक शपीत खसत वर्ष का दोस इसी होलो मन मन पर से लेकर एट इनवोके मन ऑन सिमिली सिल प्री शेष मा पास है रेवियन दे से वॉइस मूवीज मोए Je coudrai des cieux, je pardonnerai son péché et je guérirai son peuple. Y mi pueblo, sobre el cual es invocado mi nombre, se humilla. Orando y buscando mi rostro, y se vuelven de sus malos caminos. Yo les oiré desde los cielos, perdonaré su pecado y sanaré su tierra. Mis ojos estarán abiertos y mis oídos atentos a la oración que haga en este lugar. 
pues ahora he escogido y santificado esta casa, para que ella permanezca mi nombre por siempre. Ahí estarán mis ojos y mi corazón todos los días. Resusem, woma etosunienu, etin son, ni chemu dunai. Nyako pasem se, na semi mai a wabo mi din bo on suo no bre won hu ase. Na wabo mpae, na osho she menim, na wasan free won a kwan boni swa. Men su me free or soro metie, na me de won boni e free, na masa won asase no yadie. Amen. Deha tu sir sitsa char. Ne ire me lo ir konnen de pek songi. Kuduri akan kileso dona susuro na chugo kido hayo. Ne oguru chazamian dega hanana eso. Tiko kiduri chiru sa hayo hago. Kuduri tangu koju jira. Italawang kronika kapitulo 7 talatang 14. Kung ang aking bayan na tinawag sa pamamagitan ng aking pangalan ay magpapakumbaba at dumalangin at hanapin ang aking mukha at tatalikuran ang kanilang masamang mga lakad. Aking ngang didinggin sa langit at ipapatawad ko ang kanilang kasalanan at pagagalingin ko ang kanilang lupain. Che sing wai ngom ming ha de zi man yue si zi bei tou gou chen kou wo de mian jun lei ta men de ngo han wo bi chong tian shang shui tai xie mian ta men de zai yi zi ta men de bei wo bi zhang yan han zhe yi ting zai si chu so hian de tou gou hian zai wo yi xuan zhe zhe dian fen bie wai sheng si wo de ming ling zai qi zhong wo de yan Samuel Chadwick, he says this, There is no power like that of prevailing prayer. It turns ordinary mortals into men of power. It brings power. It brings fire. It brings rain. It brings life. It brings God. And I think that we can all agree that we desperately need God. We need Him to move. We need Him to to make a way we need him to make a path and that's why i'm so grateful that we've been able to worship together not just with us as the body of southeast christian church but with christians all over the world coming before god and saying god we are your people we and we're humbling ourselves um, at your throne god will you make a way and 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 so i want to share with you a passage from the book of revelation and Revelation is one of my favorite books. It gets a little misunderstood though, but there was a lot of chaos that was going on with the Christians and Jerusalem and Rome. And the, John writes on the island of Patmos, he says, he writes these and he uses a, um, what's called apocalyptic literature. And what it basically means is it's supposed to draw up these emotions. And so there's a lot of symbols and there's a lot of um, just different images that we see in the book. but one of the things that we're supposed to see in the book despite all the chaos we see jesus we see jesus as a high priest we see jesus as the lamb we see jesus as a king and so this passage is early on in the book of revelation it's chapter 5 and this is the throne room of god and here's what happens chapter 5 verse 6 it says this and between the throne and the four creatures and among the elders i saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who is seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp. Now catch this, and golden bowls of full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God. From every tribe and language and people and nation, 
And you have made them a kingdom of priests to our God, and they shall reign on earth. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and living creatures and the elders and a voice of many angels numbering myriads and myriads and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who is slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne, to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might forever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. Now there's a lot of imagery in that. But here's what I want you to catch. In, in all of that imagery, and all of that, that language that John is using, and the different animals and the tribes and the nations, what we see is that the prayers of the saints going up before God you see, he, you and I, we worship a God who hears us. We worship a God that when we pray, it moves the hand of God. We worship a God that has not forgotten us, but desires a relationship with us. And when we pray, his hand moves. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. And so I want to share with you this story. Uh, this story is... Um, from the late 1850s. It's about a guy by the name of Jeremiah Lampfire. He was a layman accepted. He accepted a call of the Northern Reformed Dutch Church in New York City to begin a full-time program of evangelism. He visited door to door, placed posters in boarding houses and prayed, but the, lurk, the work languished and Lampfire grew discouraged. And so he asked God, he said, God, would you, would you just tell me what you want me to do? I, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this ministry that you have given to me, but I'm not finding a way. And so he began to pray and he said, God, what would, what would you have me do? And the answer that he received from God was that God wanted people to pray. He decided to have a prayer meeting for businessmen from noon to one o'clock in the afternoon when they could come for a few minutes or even for the whole hour. Lampfire printed up a handbill inviting the public to a weekly meeting at noon on Wednesdays in the third floor meeting room of the North Dutch Church on, Ful on, on Fulton Street. The first prayer meeting would be held September 23rd, 1857. The appointed day arrived and at noon, Lampfire went to the room and knelt to pray. 20 minutes passed and still he was alone. Finally, at 1230, one man entered the room and without saying a word, knelt down next to Landfire. When the, then another man came, followed by another, until one o'clock there were six. The following week, there were 20. By the first week of October, the meetings were held daily and the number increased to 40. The fourth week, they averaged over 100 with many under conviction and inquiring how they might be saved. New York City was to see the great need for God when on October 18th, a financial panic seized the city, collapsing the economy into a brief but steep recession. The Fulton Street meetings, as they became known, soon filled rooms at North Dutch Church and spilled over into the nearby John Street Methodist Church. Before long, many other churches welcomed people to pray, both at noon and before work in the morning. Even police stations and firehouses opened their doors to meet the need for places to pray. Within six months, 10,000 businessmen were gathering for daily prayer. Although the revival was the most spectacular in New York City, businessmen's prayer meetings sprang up in many cities around the world. Within the next two years, approximately one million converts were added to American churches. You see, when we pray, it moves the hand of God. And all Landfire did, he said, God, I'm here for you. What would you have me do? So I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you today. Go to God in prayer. Tell him, say, God, I am here. I am your servant. I will do what you want me to do. I will go where you want me to go. What is it that you want me to do? And it might end up in a revival. Can you imagine that? If, 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 God started with, with, with just a little seed and it grew in your life and you, and you began to see revival. And it might not be a million person revival. What if it was just a revival in your family? 
Maybe it's not a revival. Maybe it's something simple. Maybe God is telling you, you know what? I just want you to go and love on your neighbor. I just want you to go and meet them and introduce yourself and just show them the kindness and the grace and the mercy that I have shown you. So remember, when we pray, it moves the hand of God. Now in the, our worship service, this is the time where we receive the Lord's Supper, we receive communion. And we invite anybody who is a believer in Christ, anybody who has surrendered their life to Jesus to participate with us. And this is one of those things that unites Christians around the world as God is building his kingdom and his kingdom is spreading from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That this is a, an element of Christian faith that we share and we can look around the globe and we can see that other Christians are participating in the, in the Lord's Supper. And to give you a context of what was happening with this meal is that Jesus was eating the Passover meal with his disciples on the night when he was betrayed, on the night that he was arrested and then he would go on to be crucified and buried. And so he's eating this meal with the disciples. And look at what it says in Matthew chapter 26. It says this, Now as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, take, eat, this is my body. Go ahead and eat the bread. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Go ahead and drink the cup. I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. God, we thank you that as believers around the world, we can celebrate together your death, your burial, and, and your resurrection. God, we thank you that you are true to your word, that you are continuing to build your kingdom. Even in these times of uncertainty, you are building your kingdom, and we give you honor and praise. God, you are so good to us. And we say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now is the time in our service where we receive the offering. And I want to encourage you to make offering part of your worship service. And um, I just want to share with you a passage. This is a passage that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Corinth. And he says this, The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. So again, I just want to encourage you as we receive um, the elements of communion, and the next is to honor God with our offerings. I want to encourage you to do so. And you can do that at www.southeast.cc backslash give. Now, again, I just want to thank you for participating in our Global Day of Prayer. I know that the service was a little bit different, and I hope you enjoyed it. But I also hope more than that, that you were able to pray and that you were able to connect with God. And as we were watching from our homes or where it is, wherever it is that you're watching, that you felt like you were part of something bigger, that you were part of not only Southeast Christian Church in Salt Lake City, Utah, but part of a global community, part of the kingdom of, of God. And so with that, I want to leave you with um, these words by, Fran by St. Francis. This is a prayer that he said. He said, he said this, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me show love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to as to love for it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned it is in dying that we are born again 
to eternal life. Again, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful week, and God bless. Hello, dear Southeast family. I'm Michelle Peterson. Thank you so much for being part of my work with Wycliffe Bible Translators for 30 years now. First as I served in the Central African Republic, and then in several countries in West Africa, and now as I'm training people in several nations to go out to other nations. I'm thankful that I can teach them online in many countries at the same time. May I invite you to pray with me? I'm going to pray Psalm 86.9 in the Jula language of Cote d'Ivoire, where I worked for many years, and um, then we're going to pray together for the nations. Thanks. Pray with me. Ikasia mi obe da ulugu be benana o kimbiriba in yakoro matigi kabonyela itoguko. Lord, we thank you for the future reality that all the nations you have made will come and worship before you, Lord. They will bring glory to your name. Psalm 86 9. History is the story of your majesty. Your name is great in all the nations. We pray for the speakers of the 3,384 languages who already have some or all of the scriptures. We ask that you will turn more and more of their hearts to you so they will listen to your word, take it to heart, and follow you. We also ask for you to prepare and send workers to the speakers of 2,115 languages that still need Bible translation work to begin. Send laborers into your harvest fields. We pray for community scripture engagement work to begin in each place so each of these people groups whom you love can get to know you through your word. Please give me wisdom for my part in that. Please bless Southeast for their part in that. We ask you to help our brothers and sisters in all countries to overcome the effects of the coronavirus and help your word to go out to many of them digitally during this time. Please heal all the nations. Please heal all trauma to people's hearts, livelihoods, and families. God, please remove this virus from the whole earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Please stand and pray this final prayer together along with me. Lord Jesus Christ, you destroyed sin, conquered death, and defeated Satan. Please remove the veil of darkness that covers the peoples. Restrain the evil that promotes violence and death. Deliver us from demonic oppression. Break the hold of slavery, tyranny, racism, and disease. Help us to tear down strongholds and ideologies that resist the knowledge of God. Almighty God, deliver us from evil. King of glory, come and finish your work in our cities, our peoples, and our nations. From all continents and islands, we cry to you. Amen. We're so glad you joined us today. Let's sing this last song together. Come finish. Come finish your work in our cities. Come finish your work in our peoples. Come finish your work in our nations.
so glad you joined us today. We hope you have a great day in the Lord. God bless you and you are dismissed.